The He is miracle food. It's the best for detoxing, cleansing, healing, removing inflammation, and boosting your immune system. It's suitable for all ages, and it helped me out tremendously during pregnancy. Allergen-free, gluten-free, 100% organic, all-natural, and vegan. Talkfordoctor.org, 818-429-1675. What's up, son? Happy New Year, bruh, bruh. I didn't talk. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, we haven't done any broadcasts since then. So oh, to the people. Happy motherfucking I mean, I, of course I hit you on some Happy New Year shit, but this is the official like. Oh, wow. The 2021 joint. Face to face. Happy New Year 2021. Shit. What's good? Hang on. Here comes the queen. It's coming back in. I think All I'm right. a bit better. Yeah. A little bit. Happy New no. Year no, wait, to everybody. Dark, but okay. Yeah. Uh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably just need to. Um, I always get this. Uh, I can just pull this audio out thing. Ring right so bit. like, I mean, it's so bad, and then it clears up. I don't know why it's always with the streamyard shit. What are you talking about? Like right now, you guys are talking to someone like this. <laughs> it's you weird. Know, that, that's what Guns was saying when when what? I first I came in. I have to wait for a second. It okay. Didn't... It sounds like you guys have voice boxes. It's weird. Maybe when it's on the phone. Huh? Maybe when it's on the phone. I'm gonna go maybe it's because I'm like, on the phone. Right? Yeah, maybe when it's on the phone. Because when I just did a test with, with our with our special guest, uh, Peter Guns, he said the same thing. But then after a second, it cleared up. It clears you know up. I mean? Like right yeah. now, you're clear. See? It's weird. I think it's something about maybe when you connect with the iPhone or some shit like that. If you're using your phone, because I'm, yeah, I'm using my phone. Because damn, man, come on, man. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. The I phone know. is clear as fuck. Well, listen, man. Yeah. Happy New Year, man. How you how you be? You know the year. You know I just had another uh, video go viral. Don't know if you saw it. I don't know if Ooh, I seen this one. We. I've been I just, working. I, I went. Oh, I hit the five hundred thousand mark what, in, what, as far what, as followers. What you do? Um, five hundred thousand followers, and now I'm at five hundred nineteen thousand. I'm saying, what did you do that went video viral? Yeah, well, viral. Well, I was talking about those proud boys and the one guy, the white dude with his black girlfriend, black wife, being a proud boy. I was talking about interracial relationships and the fetishy side of it, and oh, I made I a video. I didn't. I didn't know. Oh, yes, aware sir. Of it. And it landed okay. real nice because people are sharing the shit out of it. Okay, maybe we can input an interstitial when we okay. uh, when we when we do this. Uh, yeah, fucking video. Uh, yeah. Greg, cut in that video right here. You see this dude right here? Uh, this, this is one of the Proud Boys. You know. All those uh, Neanderthals that attacked the Capitol. Remember that? As we've been saying all day. Yeah. Well, I want to show you his wife. You say opposites attract. We were very different. This is his wife, his black wife. All right. That's his black wife. See that? And they were on one of those judge shows and shit. I didn't want to be married anymore. See? I'd rather we stay friends. All right. That's his black wife. Okay. Whether they're together or not or whatever, is black wife. And um, that's why whenever we talk about interracial relationships, everybody gets super sensitive, right? Because, you know, they always say, you ever hear that saying, love transcends color. Love transcends color. First of all, we need to get rid of the word transcend. You know how, you know how high you got to be to transcend some shit? You know how, what the level of transcendental shit is? Okay, and black people... You know me, I'm a comedian, so I'm going to throw in some comedy. We are the highest jumping motherfuckers on the planet. And yet we can't seem to jump over the hurdle of racism. Hmm? Right? Right. So, nobody ever wants to talk about the other side of interracial dating or marriage. No one talks about that other side. Because I can guarantee you there was a lot of polarization going on when this Trump shit was going on. Huh? Love transcends color. Mm, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with loving who you want to love. I have to throw that in before you guys try to pretend like you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But nobody talks about the other side, the fetishy side. There's that side where somebody doesn't respect you for who you are. They just want you for fetishy reasons. 
And that's not just black women or black people. That's Asians. That's Latina. You know, nobody ever talks about that. Nobody ever talks about the non-transcending shit. Okay? Because I grew up in Chicago. In Chicago. Where I knew white dudes that had black girlfriends would call you nigga in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Or they call you a chink and got a, a Asian girlfriend. Call you a spick and got an Asian, a, a, a Latino girlfriend. Or vice versa. This is real shit. So this is an example. This dude with his black wife going to the Capitol. So what did he say? Okay, I'm going to do some racist shit. You sit there and you be pretty, goddammit. I'm coming back to satisfy my fetish. You know? So there, we have to talk about that side. Because if love transcended color, right? Then we would have been equal by now. Because... We were fucking, we've been fucking each other for a long time, everybody. Everybody's been fucking the shit out of each other. And yet racism hasn't moved a goddamn inch. I'm just saying. So where's this transcending coming from? You know? And let's be real. A lot of us date outside of our race. A lot of us, there is a population of people that date outside of race because of self-hatred. Self-hatred angry at your people you know you got black women mad at black men and say fuck black man i'm gonna get a white dude that's the truth and you got black men that say fuck these black women i'm gonna get me a white girl watch watch huckleberry fin ass negroes yeah you got that you got people who have other agendas for going to another race that's real shit so i would like to just express that to everybody and that this fuck boy right here is an example of a lot of motherfuckers that are like that. I didn't say everyone was like that, but a lot of you motherfuckers are like that. I believe, to me, that the percentage of people that actually love each other that are from another race, very, very small. That's just how I feel because I live in this skin and I see how people act towards us. So, listen. <laughs> so, I don't think we're ever going to be able to fuck the shit out of each other to get rid of racism. Just, just personally, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it's just going to be changing our minds, right? And being respectful to us. It's going to be a mental thing that's going to have to change, not fucking somebody. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye. You know, I got on comedy hype. They used it. I got on shade rule. It's just like they passed it around. So my shit went from, I was in Arizona. I just got back. Five oh five thousand and four to five nineteen in the day. Okay, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, son, it's on. It's that's what's I up. just I came out this motherfucking year like this. Boom! Boom! And fuck that vaccine, bitches. And fuck that vaccine. And we fuck the black scene. Shit. I call it the black scene, son. The wax scene. The wax scene. Black scene, okay. son. And all you mass holes out here. Worrying yeah. about, and I'm gonna a nigga got his vaccines. mask on. I'm gonna drop some vaccines, nigga. Some vaccines on your you, bitch ass. You got your bitch ass, oh fuck boy, Huckleberry ass. Oh, nigga. Huckleberry ass, yeah, nigga Huckleberry ass, ass nigga. motherfucking nigga gems. Hey, hey, where digger at? Hey, hey man, hey, fool. hey man, hey, where hey, that fool. digger at? Hey, 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 fool, where she at, fool? Hey, Devon, hey, Devin, up, all right, Devin in the building, all right. Hey, you want to see a dead body? Oh, oh yeah! Remember that, boys. Well, the, uh, you know what I love? The boys in the hood when they when they took the football and he was like, "Come on, man, give me the ball. I ain't gonna take it." Right, right.